Today we, me and Emily, are going to show you what craft to make. Now, to make the craft, it's called, what's it called Emily? Look out for Jesus binoculars. You didn't get that, look out for Jesus binoculars. So what you will need is two toilet rolls or uh, it can be kitchen rolls as well if you want it a little bit longer. Some ribbons or string, anything that you can find that's like that. And maybe some stickers. And Emily, what do you have over there? Paint. Paint. If you were going to do painting, you do need to remember that it needs some time to dry. So it might take a little bit longer than the one that I'm going to make. Emily really wants to do painting, so that's what she's going to do. I am going to colour mine with felt or pen. So step one. Step one. Choose what you're going to colour with. So what are you going to choose, Emily? I'm going to choose light pink and turquoise paint. Okay, brilliant. And I am going to use some felt or pens. Step two. So you for your next step, once you've decorated, show us how you decorated yours. I decorated mine. So this mine. is mine. That's Emily. She did some nice sticking on there as well. And faces. And okay. faces. You are going to stick them together like this. You will need some glue or this glue. Or tape. And tape. So that is step two. It is now stuck together. Step three. You might need an adult to help you with this one. Um, you can either use a hole punch or some scissors. It is easier with hole punch, but you can do it with either. And what you will do is at the end, you're going to do a little hole. Okay, so then if you're using scissors, you're going to make a little hole, hence saying that you need an adult for this, so you don't hurt yourself. You would definitely need an adult, just in case you cut yourself. So there's one hole there. You might need to make the hole a little bit bigger with scissors. And then another hole exactly on the opposite side. Step four. This is your very last step. So, you're going to need your ribbons or your string. And what we will do is, if you can thread it through, it's going to be easier for the hole. Okay. And then you put it around your neck, just like that. And there you have it. Look out for Jesus binoculars. And you can use these in the garden or in your house or even to look for Easter eggs. That'd be fun as well. But mostly you're going to use it to look out for Jesus. 